Frankie Session here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few things you can do if your computer randomly shuts down while you're using it. Before we get started, you should know that many things can cause this problem. Now because there's an overwhelming amount of possible causes, we can't go over all of them here. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the most common reasons this might be happening to you. With all that being said, let's get into our first tip. Pay attention to when the PC turns off. Does it seem completely random, or does it only happen when you try to run a specific application? Looking for a pattern when the PC shuts off will help you narrow it down to some possible causes. I know, I know. This seems so obvious that maybe you're thinking, why is it even on the list? But it's here for good reason. It's a safe bet that you probably have a plug in the wall outlet hidden behind a couch or a bed, and when someone comes by and sits on the couch, they yank the cord out of the wall. It's important to ensure that all cables are plugged in securely, from the wall, to the power strip, to the power supply unit. But don't stop there. Turn your PC off and remove your desktop's case door. Take a look around and inspect that all cables are snugly inserted, both data and power connectors. Personally, I've had this happen before. My PC was shutting down at random because my motherboard's 24-pin connector wasn't secured against the motherboard. Be firm with it. Those 24-pin ATX connectors are tough to push down. After you have ensured that your PC has an uninterrupted power and data supply, we should take a look at the PSU to make sure that you've got enough power and that the supply of that power is reliable and consistent. Many consumer grade computers use cheap, low wattage power supply units in their desktop computers. Usually this is sufficient, but if you throw a graphics card or sound card in the computer, or have too much peripherals connected, it can put a strain on a weak, low power PSU. Sometimes these cheap PSUs are unreliable and cannot supply a constant level of power leading to spikes and falls in power availability. A special tool called a power supply tester can help inform you if you have a functioning and reliable power supply. You can also conduct this test with an inexpensive digital multimeter. Videos on how to conduct such a test may be found in the description. If you have a mid-level graphics card in your PC, like a Radeon HD 7870, it's required that you have at least 500 watts of power. So take a look at your components, do some math, and make sure your PSU is capable of delivering that kind of power. If your PC only turns off after X amount of minutes, it's possible that your computer is actually overheating. Almost all PC manufacturers install a special protection feature that monitors the temperature of your PC's components. This feature automatically turns your computer off when it detects that a component is too hot. Likewise, PC manufacturers also supply PCs with mostly sufficient cooling systems to keep their components operating at a safe temperature. That being said, if your computer is overheating, Something is probably not right. Fans may be not working or clogged. Along with software related maintenance like defragmentation and repairing registry errors, computer hardware also requires maintenance. The CPU heatsink fins, CPU fan, and other fans may be clogged with dust and debris. Sometimes the dust can get so bad that it actually prevents fans from turning and blowing altogether. So regular cleaning is necessary. computer is shutting down while playing a game, then the problem could lie within your graphics card. As mentioned before, you should check power cables and make sure the graphics card is firmly inserted into the motherboard's PCI Express slot. If the card is getting power and you can see the fan turning, the graphics card is probably in working order, and the problem may lie in the software side of things. In order for your computer to play a game, a graphics card must communicate with your operating software through a driver. AMD and NVIDIA constantly update their drivers to be more compatible, efficient, and stable with games and applications. It is possible that your graphics card is running on an outdated driver, which may be the culprit for system instability while playing games. Another possibility is that you are running a beta driver. Beta drivers are test drivers that are not yet stable enough for consumers. They are for developers and experienced users only. So try updating your graphics card to the newest non-beta driver. Well, that's about it. I hope you found this video helpful. If not, remember, you can always comment or private message me here on YouTube. I'll do my best to help out. I'm Frankie Seshi, and I'll see you later.